Howdy, everybody. Today, I'm going to take you through a tutorial of FreeCAD. FreeCAD 1.0, to be exact. This will be the first in a series of videos designed to teach you how to make a Gridfinity system in FreeCAD. If you haven't heard of Gridfinity, pause the video right now and go to able to watch. Zach Friedman designed a very, very cool organizational system and you should definitely go watch his video, which I'll link in the description below before you come back here for the tutorial. The series is going to consist of episode one today, where we're going to talk about data and planes and variables and how to start off making your part fully parametric. Then we'll move on to sketches and additive lofts and subtractive lofts in following videos. But today, we're gonna to start our part by creating a part. And we're gonna name this part right down here in the label, grid infinity container. And then, Everything in FreeCAD needs a body. You have to be working in the active body. So we're gonna create a body. And for now, I'm just gonna leave the body named body. Everything today that we do is gonna be in the part design workbench as we create our global variables. For those of you who, understand, who know a little bit about programming, you know exactly what I mean when I say global variables. If you don't, doesn't really matter for what we're going to do today. We're just going to create our global variables and our datum planes, all in the part design workbench. FreeCAD has tons of different workbenches for tons of different things. Today, we're just going to stick to the part design. So now, to create our variables, we're going to create our variable set, and we're going to give our variable a name variable for now is going to be our x units. And like I said, that name probably doesn't make sense right now if you haven't watched Zach Friedman's video. I highly encourage you to go watch it. And then we're going to have to change our data type from length to an integer. For now, we're just going to make it one unit in the X plane. And for some reason you can't name your variable set when you're creating it. You have to already create a variable and then you can come back and edit your label. So I'm gonna custom name this to be global variables. That'll make it a lot easier to understand when referencing these variables later. Now, I'm going to right click and add another property. And you might have guessed it, but I'm going to call it Y units. Give that a unit of one for now. I'm going to add one more property. And as you can see over here, there's a height unit. So I'm going to name it height units. Still going to be an integer. I'm going to give it a unit of one. So if you're looking at this drawing, you probably guessed that I'm going to add some pitches here. Pitches with a P. Let's make that clear. And as you can see, one unit here is equal to seven millimeters. So I'm gonna add another property. I don't want that to be an integer. I want that to be length. I'm gonna name it height pitch. Then I'm gonna assign that a value seven millimeters. Now, 
I need to add another property for the pitch of the system, which as you can see down here, it's gonna be 42 millimeters. Okay, and now, now we're gonna talk about our offsets. And as you can see from this drawing here, we have all of these little dimensions and they're very important. And at first glance, you might think you don't have enough information to do this. Well, you do. So you have a 45 degree right triangle. And that means that this 2.15 here is the same as the 2.15 here. Same goes for this 0.8 here. It's also going to be 0.8 there. So we're going to call these properties our profile offsets. Our first one is going to be profile offset one. And for my naming convention, I'm going to go one, two, three. So our first profile offset is going to be 0.8 millimeters. Okay. Add another property. Probably guessed it's going to be profile offset two. That is actually not going to be 2.15 millimeters. Like I said, it's a little confusing, but it's actually going to go from 0.8 and then from 0.8 you're going to go up 1.8 so it's going to be 1.8 millimeters now now we can add our third profile offset and now now we add 2.15 millimeters Let's see, my notes say we should have eight variables here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like we're good to go. Now, time to add our datum planes. And these datum planes are gonna be very important when we start creating sketches and lofts. But for now, I just wanna make the origin visible. There's a few different ways you can do that. I I'm going to right click it and say, oh, exactly sure what I did there. Huh. Good news is in FreeCAD, you can just start over if you need to. So there we go. I ended up not right clicking that time. A shortcut on the keyboard is just press the space bar. So, a good thing to note is that if you're a beginner, uh, you can sort of cheat the system a little bit. And this task bar here will give you a hint as to what you can do. So for now, I'm gonna select the XY plane of this body specifically coordinate system, not the part, but the body. Because remember, I said everything has to be done within a body. And I'm going to click Create Datum Plane. And it's attached to the XY plane of body. So here's where it gets interesting. I want to offset this. Remember how I talked about my, uh, what are they, profile offsets. I want to offset this in the Z axis. So I'm going to select this, another little keyboard shortcut, press the equal sign, and that'll pull up what's called your expression editor. And here we're going to reference global variables. I should note that you can either reference our global variables this way, and this way being these two little symbols there, uh, tell us that we're referencing the name of the var set object, which is still there. I personally like referencing the names of things, just me. 
And so we have our global variables object, and we're looking to reference profile offset one. Let's just reorient that. And as you can see there, 0.8 millimeters, 0.8 millimeters. Now we're gonna click okay. I'm going to rename this profile. Actually, I should probably make it the name consistent so not to confuse you. Profile offset one. Now I'm going to hide my origin. I'm going to select my profile offset. I want to create another datum plane. Let's cancel that out because it didn't quite do what I want it to do. So I'm just going to go over here, create another datum plane. Now I'm going to select that. And it should be the attachment mode of plane face. And we're going to do another Z direction offset. And we're going to reference our global variables again. And this time we want to reference profile offset two. And I'm going to click OK. And I didn't see profile offset three come up as an option before. So I'm going to double check down here in our variables. I must have gotten rid of that accidentally. So just going to add the property back in again. I'm going to give it, as you can guess, 2.15 millimeters. Just save it to be safe. Now I'm going to go back and rename this to profile offset two. And I'm going to create one more datum plane up here. And I'm going to select profile offset two, which shows up fine there. See, here's an example of where we're referencing the object itself and not the name of the object. If you remember, the object itself that's named profile offset two is actually datum plane 001. Might get a little confusing. Don't worry about all that for now. That'll get into weird object-oriented programming and data types, which makes a lot of sense if you're familiar with programming, as FreeCAD is built on Python. So I'm going to go back to our Z axis offset again. I'm going to reference our global variables. And I'm going to reference profile offset 3. And look, there's our third data plane right there. So there you have it. There's our first profile offset, our second profile offset, and our third profile offset. And I'm going to change the name of this again to profile offset three, as I'm sure you've guessed. And just for clarity, I'm going to show the axis again. And I'm going to go to our front view. And as you can see, we have our base plane, the XY plane that you can kind of see changing highlighted there. Then we have our first profile offset, our second profile offset, and our third profile offset. And in the coming videos, I'm going to teach you how to do the sketches in the additive loft to make it look exactly like this profile right here. But that's all for now, and I hope you have a great day.